Hey guys, how's it going? So the last video that I uploaded, I realized that was actually my 300th video. So I've been doing the YouTube thing for quite a while now, huh? 300 freaking videos. And since this is the New Year's, actually this episode will be the first video of this year. So that is uh, pretty cool, I guess. Anyways, welcome to episode 26 and please enjoy today's episode. Man, these freaking trees and fruit trees are coming in so clutch. Just got 56 farming, so I kind of ran out of all the like air roots and aventos and renar seeds. So I need to plant the other ones, but yeah, needed 56 farming so I can grow some corn. So that's awesome. I also have like 30 to 40 seeds of those. So I was going to use my cash to repair the crystal shield for DKs, but since I don't need to do that for a while, I might as well just put some more cash in here. There we go, just hit 83 strength. How close am I to 95, I wonder? I think I'm gonna go for 90 strength for my long-term uh, combat training for a while. All right, so I'm gonna finally get myself the Soul Bearer. Like, I was doing my Fire Giant task and the freaking insult heads were just taking up way too much space. So, I've unlocked the book a while ago. And yeah, it's just time for me to go ahead and get this thing and start using it for Slayer tasks. Second medium clue of the day, here it goes. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that's my first semi page on this account. So on the last video, I changed my long-term plans so I can uh, pursue Slayer. I need to get to 80 Slayer so I can boost for the whip and then eventually 87 for a trident so I can go and hammer out Zora. I recently just got 74 Slayer and I need six more levels just for 80 and my oh my, Slayer just gets exponentially slower past 70. So yeah, it's gonna be quite the long-term goal, guys. There we go, just hit 83 hit points, and now I have 95 combat, cool. So one of my other goals that I have for a while was to complete this elite clue. It's already at four steps, and it's to create a super defense. So that means I need to get 61 herbler and boost to make it. And after a week plus of farming and just collecting herbs from Kingdom, I have finally collected enough herbs for around 200,000 experience which is exactly what I need to get from 49 all the way to 61, so that is really nice. Oh sweet, I was that close to 50 Herbler. Awesome, man. And what? 1475 total as well, man. Not bad, not bad, guys. So I'm making some Serum 207s right now. I'm getting the uh, Ashes at Grand Exchange. Just collecting it from people training their fire making, and a uh, pretty easy way to uh, go ahead and make these potions is to stack it up like I'm doing right now so then you can just combine them like this and it's super easy but yeah I'm almost done with these and then the next thing is the energy potions I'm gonna make and I also got up to 55 herbal now so now I can make the super energy potions and the super strength potions for the remainder of my experience I need for 61 herbaler and holy hell man I'm already 61 Herbler, that's crazy. I thought I was gonna need to use this uh, experience lamp that I got from Recipe for Disaster to finish it up, but yep, I haven't used this lamp yet, but I might as well just put it all on freaking Herbler, anyways, because that's gonna be needed to be higher at some point in time for all the other fabulous herbs. So, this is the result of all the way from 49 to 61 Herbler. Got myself tons of super attacks. Even super strength as well. A lot of super energies, that's gonna be really useful. I'll probably use some early on and maybe save some for staminas. Lots of Serum 207s and also a lot of energy potions. Gonna be using these guys as often as I can because they're gonna be really useful. Saves me a lot of time, you know, from having to walk and stuff. Finally, got the 66 Herbler boost. And now this elite clue is complete. Okay, this is step number four if I remember, so uh, here goes nothing guys. Oh, looks like I am already screwed here. Wait, no! You equip a Lava Battle Staff, Black Dragonite Vampires, and a Mind Shield. I can do this actually. Just gotta go make myself a Mind Shield and we good. Step six, another Sherlock, but we just completed it, so let's go for step number seven. Let's see what we get. Oh man, it's over guys. That Dragon Spear clue, man. Yeah, this is definitely something I have to drop. The Dragon Spear is just too RNG. And I know some of you guys want to suggest like Brutal Black Dragons, but dude, it's not worth it, man. The rates from a Brutal Black Dragon is 
pretty rare still and with these stats it would take me probably weeks to even go for it so so i've done more than enough tasks to get 750 plus points for the uh herb sack and i didn't buy it because i wasn't 58 herb lord i can't use this herb sack until i'm 58 but i'm more than that now so i'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, purchase this and i guess the next few things i'm gonna unlock is probably something to do with superior monsters i think i'll probably unlock this first more rewards for me and better chance of getting some cool stuff finally guys after four freaking slayer levels i got my first ever karas task pretty damn excited for that i cannot wait to see how much uh, resources and gp i get from one whole task dope they recently added a new spot for karas and it's like the same as the uh, extra spot they did for wyverns where you can only do this when you're on a slayer task but dude there's so many here nice oh baby i just got myself a freaking mystic top i actually don't have one because i just thought i'd probably get it from a drop at some point and i did so that's my best in slot mage top for a while yeah honestly zora material right here and that's my first ever caress task completed and it's time for the juicy ass price check so this is 170 kills it's probably a little bit misleading because of this mystic top but you know we'll take that away Holy hell though, that's really nice. Basically 500k reward, 183k gold. Put that in there, you know, it's like 550k, that's nice. And I got tons of herbs as well, so this is probably like 50k plus 100k in herbs as well. So yeah, realistically 700k man for one task, this is amazing. This is going to be so nice, you know, the limps, mad super strength, super defense, farming, more farming. New confirmed favorite tasks, would love to do these again man. And that is 3 weeks of 100 plus tiers man, that is delicious experience, come here. What we get? 35 room crafting, that is so nice. Alright, just finished another hard clue man. Starting to actually able to consistently do them actually. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh my god, almost got the full rune set, just needed the body really. And armadillo page 1, that is an amazing reward. Let me check the progress on my pages, guys. Okay, that's my first ever Armadillo page. Closest one being completed is Saradoman. So guys, I am back at 1 mil GP. And this is honestly so easy to maintain now because I'm doing so much Slayer. And my Slayer level is high enough where I can kill really profitable Slayer tasks such as the Karas and the Dust Devils. And very soon, I'll be able to kill Gargoyles, which is even better physical GP. So I have more than enough cash to continue to sustain my kingdom at maximum rate. And also I just will be able to collect additional cash. So I guess I can use that for like construction or like crafting or something in the future with battle staves. So I predict that by the time I hit like 80 Slayer, I probably will have enough GP to get to like 10 million. Like no joke. Right now Slayer is so much better than it has ever been because of all the previous updates. Alright, just hit 81 magic guys, going hard on that slayer grind. So to make my slayer grind a bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and train my prayer once again because once I hit 60 plus, I can use a shivery which is much better than you know what I'm flicking with normally. Now I'm definitely not gonna be able to get to 70 but eventually I hope to get that as well. But for now 60 is super easy to get and then all I gotta do is finish King's Ransom and I'll be able to use it. So back to some Zaya prayer training. And as quickly as I started, I got myself 60 per. Now I can use Shivery. Now I still have quite a bit of Insul Head, so I'm just gonna use it up and see how much uh, prayer I can get. Okay, that is the last Insul Head that I can use. I thought I could use Dragon, but I forgot it's 90 plus magic for that one. But I managed to get myself all the way 63 prayer, so that's really nice. That means if I continue to do Slayer, and just get insult heads, I won't have to grind for dragon bones as much, which is a lot better than, you know, what I imagine for the 70 prayer grind in the inevitable future. This quest was so fast. I totally forgot how fast this thing was, but that is nice, man. King's Ransom quest is completed, and that's it. I've completed the Knight's Wave training ground for some really good experience. But of course, the most important thing is Shivery. Now I can flick this. Oh boy, this is going to be so much nicer. So I got strength increased by 18%, attack by 15%. Okay, attack doesn't change from uh, 
the one that I normally use, but the strength does and the defense as well. So that's really good. 3% increase for strength, 5% increase for defense. So I'll be ending the video here, but before I let you guys go, I just want to say 2016 has been a really amazing year for this YouTube channel. So starting off with the Old School Iron Man series and more recently the Hardcore Iron Man series, my channel has seen amazing growth in like subscribers and viewership. And I really, really appreciate you guys coming in to check the videos. I've had some of you guys for probably a year now and some even more uh, older viewers from back in the day from my R3 Iron series for at least two years now. I think I've been working on videos for this channel for a little bit over two years now. So it's just amazing to see how many people are watching this, you know, whether you're a super veteran viewer or like a newcomer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And one last thing, I think 2017 will probably be a really amazing year for this channel as well. We're going to be starting off really strong with the return of the uh, normal Iron Man with raids. But of course, there's also the hardcore series that I'm trying to complete as well. So yeah, bunch of more exciting content to come, guys. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.